Hey guys, cool bond right back. I'm Rick. Lord Eric. Aaron. Lord Cow. And we are here with the finale of Bridgerton, season two. Where Kay. this time on, Simon will come in and save the day. Do you think? Because Kate, I think, is dead. <laughs> <laughs> or very, very injured. No, this is a TV show. People, head injuries on TV shows don't happen. You watch Game of Thrones? Burst her head on that rock. Lots of head burst. injuries in Game of Thrones. It wasn't burst. It felt like it. It leaked. Slightly. Game, leaking your head Game is not great. Game of Thrones? That's I had injury. it. I'm still alive. Did you leak your head? Yep. By hitting on a rock? Hmm? By hitting on a yeah, rock? Tyrion? Got a very bad head injury. Can't start another conversation. <laughs> no, <laughs> you were not, can't start another. You were talking over here. <laughs> there's, there's a difference of like one person like mumbling while being ignored, and then another two conversations happening at the same time. I don't want to have that. One of the times was a rock. I fell into a creek. How she? Like from up above on the bank. Did Simon come and save you? Only in my dreams. Huh? You didn't know who he was in. <laughs> That's why it'd be a dream. Oh, yeah. okay. He's this man of his dreams, Aaron. Um, we also have fraud happening as well. Continuing. Continuing to happen. To as happen. Well. Taking advantage of young minds. Young I feel like they haven't college. taken advantage of anyone yet. I feel like that's going to continue in the next season. Maybe. I don't think that's going to be wrapped up. I think Colin's going to get. Is it Colin's? Colin might Colin. be swindled into they're, it, maybe. It's close. They're pushing for Colin, and they're also pushing for. What's his name? Mond- Mondrick. Mondrick. Mm-hmm. Mondrick. Mondrick. Which. He has information, basically just blackmailing him. Yeah. yeah. So, there's that. Um, I don't know, things with Benedict going pretty well. He seems to be having the time of his life. Eloisa! In trouble with the queen. No yep. easy way out. She's going to just pretend to be uh, Lady Whistledown, I guess. I Not guess. in so much trouble with the queen anymore, but in so much more trouble because she's going to see people unchaperoned. I do wonder what her process is going to be now, right? Because we had the one thing come out for Eloise. Yeah. Does she just scrap all the idea before? Or does she still claim that she's... I don't know. Because like the idea before was that Penny writes something that Eloise would never write about herself. Yeah, yeah sure. And as we've had happen, right? Yeah. yeah. Can she still claim to be whistled down to the Queen? Or does the Queen like... Err. Yeah, I think the Queen will move on from Eloise as being whistled down. I suspect. So uh, she's out of the water in that sense. But she's into the fryer because... I'm just saying, though. If I thought Rick was X, and then something came out just discrediting, like, ah, Rick would never write this about himself. But that would be the plan, of write this about myself, burn myself, to also do the same stuff I've been doing, so no one would think it's me. She hasn't watched this show, so she doesn't know. And this is old times. That's a new trick. Also, it sucks for the queen that literally everyone that she's trying to, like raise up and like become her ally and stuff mm. like that is just getting trashed mm. you mean like the, the diamond yeah and then like Lady Whistledown yeah and, like, supposed Lady Whistledown and then like her her dogs her dog. the peacock the peacock yes yeah the dogs are true. spotless spotless no trash at all what if his name's Spot perfect Tondalon damn it <laughs> Got me. It's stuck in me. <laughs> stuck in you? Stuck in me. I had to get it out. It's okay. Everything's she... softer when it's wet. She's gonna drown. She looks dead. Nope. Rocks are softer when they're wet. Stay with me. Come on now. Come on now. You might not want to move her neck. Oh, shit. Is she leaking? Stay with me. The head bleeds a lot, even Come in the minor injuries. It does, sure. it's true. You gonna carry your back? Where's it's your horse? It's just a ketchup packet. Thank goodness for this carriage man. Hold her head, man! She'll be fine! Don't shake the cape! They don't know how injuries affect shit. If her head's like that, her arm... Oh my god, Kate! Call the surgeon at once! Surgeon? Surgeon? You there. What have you done with our scandal sheet? Nothing to me, sir. Would you like newspaper? No! I want oh. scandals, gossip. I do hope we're still down here. Fuck, are we meant to do? I'll be cook. <laughs> Would you like to give a ball? A so ball? Yeah. So that we may finally celebrate our engagement. So that we may finally celebrate all of us. Barley. Um, but me? Sharma is yet to awaken from her accident. Perhaps we should not make jest of a family to time like this. Invite them all. 
They likely will not come, of course, poor souls. But let everyone be allowed yeah. to finally see how well we're doing. Has it been a week? After such a tragic year. I sometimes want the house of Featherington to burn. <laughs> I've heard that is Feather's weakness. Mm. Fire. Would you care to inform me about anything? Uh-oh. I do not take note of staff changes, brother. And what about our accounts? You apparently do not seem to take note of them either, since I spent the last two days balancing our books, only to discover that you seem to have taken out a rather large sum. Mm. Whatever for. Mm. If you must know, I was exploring an investment with Lord Featherington. This is just what makes for difficulties in this household. No one gives any thought as to how it must be managed. Yes, one in twenty, brother. Is no one in this family allowed to make their own decisions? You, keep your doodling. And do not ask me to speak of your activities. I would not know where to begin. Jesus. I have the excuse. He's a little frustrated right now, huh? A little bit. I must go too. But he's right. About Colin. It's true. Dude, what if she figured out who Whistle Down is? Or maybe he put her thoughts into a book. I know who Whistledown is. Come see me. What'd I say? Damn. I think we're going to find out. He's the printing shop. We're here. You got my name. Why did you not tell me sooner? Why did you continue lying to me, carrying on with me when you knew this entire time that the real Lady Whistledown has been using this very shop to print her scandal sheet? I could. But when she was still watching me. Why do you think I ended things the way I did with you despite wanting to do the very opposite? I did not want her to see the two of us together. I did not <coughs> want her to write cruelly of you. A little late for that. Now it is. I owe you an apology, Miss Bridget. For everything. Whistledown's now taken her business elsewhere. But we deserve to know the truth. I deserve more than that. I must know everything you know. The manuscripts came early mornings. Twice a week, usually. Do you have the wrappings they came in? They never came in wrappings. They came sewn into silks. Mm. Sewn into silks. I was pleased to receive your... Oh, no, that... <laughs> Damn, man, I can't snort coffee like that. It's terrible. It's espresso. Events Yes. I don't even like nasal spray. <laughs> Lady Whistledown oh. had a monopoly on such uh, speculations, did she not? It perhaps <laughs> do us all some good to find new interests. It's uh, taking a lot of that. Mr. Bridgeton, you cannot be entertaining any of this in earnest. The man is a swindler. I beg your pardon, my lord. Swindler. A trait he seems to share with his late cousin, someone I myself became involved with, and whose unscrupulous actions I once mistakenly condoned. Right, Perhaps well. you might be able to see it for yourself. The Featherington was given the most lavish ball of the season. Quite a celebration for a family who's You can leave them out of it. The Featheringtons are a fine family whose reputation has been most unfairly traduced. I would be very careful of the accusations you make in future, as it hardly seems you can afford to drive away any more patrons. Damn Perhaps God. we might find another place to conduct our business for them. Damn. Yeah, someone's always scamming. Oh, he's Damn. defending Penn, too. Sure. Yeah. Meanwhile, the families here will begin asking for a return on their investments before long, and then well, this whole thing falls Yes. Apart. You Don't should have seen this from the beginning. Kind of escape, my lord. Which one's going to skim which money. first, you think? Mm, take the money and run. Travel to the Americas. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. Him. Just the door. <clears throat> she can't reach. Faker! Gotcha! <laughs> what do you mean, Faker? <laughs> Thank heavens, I just sent for the doctor. Okay. So don't wake up until she says, Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, whatever they have in between us. <laughs> she hasn't eaten for a week, Eric! 
It's like when Raph woke up, woke up in the bathtub. He brought you back here several days ago. <laughs> no. See, that's why you needed to come see her. I'm so sorry that it was you who was with your father that day. I'm oh. sorry for everything that happened in the days that followed. Losing Edmund was the most difficult time of my life. And the pain that I felt. Beyond description. But there is one thing that has given me at least some modicum of solace. It's knowing that I would still choose the life I led with him each and every time. And I would undoubtedly feel the same pain I felt all over again if I had to. Because real, true love is worth it. No matter what. Do not lose her, Anthony. At least now she's on board. Uh oh, silks. It would be foolish of me to be engaged with such a scandalous person. As foolish as it is for you to be walking around like this when I know what Whistledown recently wrote of you. No. Madame Delacroix, we would like to be gilded. Oh. Dun dun. Ah. Oh. If she tells her the truth, I don't know what I'm betrayed about the dressmaker. She's gonna feel real betrayed about the note. Right? I realize you are not to be seen with me, but if you could spare me just one moment. Anyways. The print shop where Theo works was in fact Whistledown's. He has told me everything. I'm sorry. I thought you would quit your hunt for Whistledown's words, not enough. You are not listening to me. I'm going to find her now. Do not scream at me. I, I'm sorry. I... But people know that you have been speaking to him. Theo. There has been gossip about you and a man from the lower classes for weeks. You had to have heard people talking. Who? Who's talking? Servants. Those who have heard it from their houses weren't my office to ask me about it just the other day. I thought I'd been discreet. Are you quite sure? Lady Whistledown has done you a favour. If she were to find out about this and write about it, then... Your family are already in a great deal of trouble. You've been consumed by thoughts for far too long. First you love her, then you hate her. It is enough. I cannot, I do not want to hear about it anymore. This scandal of yours will soon pass. I look forward to the day when things will return to how they used to be between us. You can't. It's forbidden. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not what that means. <laughs> Considering your acceptance, how it was based on, well, you know. Rupert. But lighten me, please. Didn't get any merit? Your brother's large donation to the Academy. Yeah. It's what secured your place. I thought you knew. It's because he loves you, man. <laughs> hmm. Lead with the guilt. Lead with the guilt? Like, I couldn't come because I did this, <laughs> you know? I hurt my back carrying you. Yeah. <laughs> I had to rest. <laughs> Thank you for the flowers. Was there something else, my lord? Every heart. Sure. I called on him. Yes. Ring. The morning on. I call on you to apologize. You deserved so much more than that. I took liberties. I, uh, I did not want it to happen like that. So, I came to apologize yes, you and to that. ask you to marry me. 
Miss Sharp, I'm here. What are you doing? I'm asking no, no, you. No, no, my lord, I, I do not need you to ask me anything at all. Kate. I'm Mr. Garrett. Garrett. I'm here. I am returning to The moment I resolve matters with my sister, I am returning to India. It is decided. Lady Danbury has kindly offered to sponsor my mother and sister for another season. I'm certain they would do perfectly well on their own, as it is clear I am of no help. The Queen wouldn't know about any more weddings for the season. Mm -hmm. Please go. That's what she was doing when she hit her head. The horse. Go. You can't blame her for making a bad decision. She got hit on the head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The K's. Oh, maybe not. Thought they're gonna find a clue, but maybe, no. Maybe they'll just find love. Fine. Staring on the floor. Start scrapping the floors. I knew it was coming. Excuse me. We cannot continue to meet like this. This was your idea. I know. I, I know it was. And, and I'm sorry for wasting your time. Are you? Or are you suddenly dropping out of this hunt for other reasons? People are already talking about us, Theo. And no, I do not normally care what other people think, but yes, I care about you. And if we continue on like this, I cannot live with myself if you are the one who has to face the consequences. Aww. Is she divine? But you cannot be any different from all the other ladies. It's alright, it's Bridget. You dipped your toe into my waters, trying to make yourself feel better about the unearned advantages of your birth. Unearned advantages. Now you can go back to your life. And I can go back to mine. I'm sorry, I couldn't help you find your right. Best of luck. Theo. <sighs> now that you are, I do have questions. Yep. Were you lying to me? No. The very beginning. I was no. Lying to it wasn't. Yeah, it still was. Perhaps there was something between us, but the I truly did not know it until it was too late. They had the hearts for each other. Why did you not tell me? Whatever action you now wish to take, I only hope it is because you are being truthful to yourself. Not because of anyone else. Tell me about a proposal. Proposal? Indecent proposal. Where's Naruto? Yes, sir. Yes. There's two swings. Oh, you're right. Foolish. Yeah, the whole point is it's a single swing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whoa. I thought the point was that he just liked to swing. Isn't that the point of the swing? It's <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to swing. Turns out Anthony himself bought my seat at that table. That does not mean you would not have been accepted on your own. True. Uh -huh. Just means it didn't hesitate. <laughs> it means you guaranteed it. Thanks, I am stupid. I'm sorry for this saying you. I shall. Gregory, wait. Come here. Getting an actual scene with Gregory. All right. Setting him up for next season, maybe. Am I like him at all? Was he more like you? Father. We like both of us, really. 
you have my seriousness, perhaps. He shared your love of a prank. Did he? He once put glue in Benedict's shoes. In? Mm-hmm. In his shoes? It's hardcore. He was courageous and never afraid to fight not just for his family, but for everything else. You gotta go to war and get that girl. I don't know what that means, but you gotta. <clears throat> Send 50 of those. <laughs> <laughs> it grieves me to think you do not believe you deserve all of the love in the world. <sighs> I like having both the moms kind of apologizing for like the. What they put on the kids, yeah, like for Anthony and stuff. So too. nice when people just say how they feel on television, right? <laughs> right. Happens so seldom. That's why I love finales. <laughs> She's like, "What? Marry the man? <laughs> <laughs> He's rich." No, sir. She doesn't think he really. It's just all duty from him. Sure. That's what it was before the wedding, too. Yeah, with Edwina and like, everything and whatnot. I have to do this because that's... I suppose I could see her thinking... Do the... What? I want that! Lazy Susan music stage. That's so stage. cool. We need what's, one of those. What's propelling it? Uh, it doesn't matter. A little guy some, under, like... Some people on a bike. Must be. Yeah. A donkey. You like... You'd be shit everywhere. Not down below. It's turning a thing like the forges and... Power of his real mind. Caribbean. It's probably wound up like a clock. <laughs> Oh my, this the queen has come to the Featherington Ball. Mm, she does not look impressed. You could rotate faster. Your she has a listening device on her head. <laughs> yeah, all sound comes in. <laughs> I will hear all. Did not take it well, but I think it was a necessary choice. Hello, thank you for protecting me. <clears throat> you are a true friend. Fuck. I hate it when people put it like that. I hear he recently spent a good deal of time with his scoring in a closet, for what I cannot imagine. Where well, did you hear that? The scoring is over there, alongside the lemonade table. Secretly fixing tissue paper in her bosom. Now we know who for look. They're all going to put it together? You know all these things. Mm-hmm. So observe it. Keen observation, then. <laughs> oh, fuck. She does. It's all falling into place. <sighs> I don't want Fuck. it. Fuck! Things were kind of like bowing up. That's a great cover for Kate, though. They both look good. Yep. <clears throat> Sir, the clasp is broken. Is it? Might I mend it for you? The bridge is invalid as a way with jewelry. Oh, no. Yep. I'm going to go test this real quick. So he hasn't invested yet? Uh, he has, but he can... He can spill the beans before they get away with the money. Mm-hmm. Have them arrested and seize their accounts and Colin, such. Can we not quite scan this with two of us? There are no gemstone mines in Georgia. Your cousin, Lord Featherington. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, Pamper. Well, I have looked into him. Good. I believe he is nothing but a mere... Nice. Oh, what? Good! What are you saying? I'm saying, if I'm right, then this necklace... Perfect. Mr. Bridgerton. What is the meaning of this? The meaning is... Stab! But this necklace is yeah. Made of glass. Just like you. How dare you take advantage of these poor ladies, Featherington, without a father or a husband... Yes, husband. how dare you! It's out of concern <laughs> for their reputation alone that I will only address this matter in private. But I expect you to return all of the funds you have collected and leave town at once. Well, no getting any of your American guns. Deal with this. Thank goodness for Mr. Bridgerton. Hmm. Oh, you smell that face. shit a mile away. I will no longer have to go through with my proposed marriage to Prudence. There will be other. Possibilities in the future. Yes. Door opens. <laughs> we should return to the party. 
Would the Featheringtons be without a husband again, or will they be without parents entirely? I don't know. Colin. Pin would leave, right? right? I believe so. Good. Because we are dancing. Hmm. Won't Prudence be like, where's my necklace? <laughs> it's with the Valor. Or no, not Prudence, uh, Calper. Calper. I cannot thank you enough for looking after us. I will always look after you, Penelope. Uh, You're a special to me. As are you. To me. There's no heat when he says that, though. I think he's just saying friend. <laughs> Rolling her eyes. <laughs> you will not be able to avoid him all night. And you should not attempt to. At least not on my behalf. Be the sister I know that you are. Funny and brave and feeling. Be unafraid to follow your heart after doing the exact opposite for far too long. You have spent so much of your time shining your light on me. It is time for you to shine all on your own. I'm banning to play a really good song. Right. And the time of my life. <laughs> Sean. Come on, man. I do it for you from Robin Hood. Yes. You say run. What? <laughs> Makes no sense. We should continue to keep our distance between us. And and us. Perhaps we should not. <clears throat> I was on the dance floor, days after a terrible injury to the head. Perhaps I needed someone to steady me. Make sure I was all right. <laughs> Perhaps you were the first person I found. Come on. <laughs> 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 Are you going to ask me to dance? <clears throat> One last time. Are you going to say yes? When he's actually smiling, that guy is so good looking. I'm not saying he's not good looking when he's not, but when he smiles, he's so good looking. He's what a good looking kid. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't bad. <clears throat> Where the fuck is my necklace? I love that no one knows what to think now that there's no whistle down. Yep. I can't have opinions of my own. Damn it. Do you want to stop? No. Go hard. Just keep okay. Dance harder. A dub step. Ball time. Yeah. <clears throat> that moment when you don't notice anyone else. Yeah. It all goes silent. Like no one else is even no dancing. Else is dancing. Or that's how they feel. You know. Sure. Could be either. Ah. Oh. Why is a queen smiling? What a scandal! Is that why the sister's wedding was abandoned? Oh, child. No. That wedding did not happen because I simply changed my mind. <laughs> a fact Lady Whistledown must have somehow missed. I think they look beautiful together. <laughs> 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 Indeed. Do they not? The queen Do like, they not? <laughs> Do they not? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Then why oh is my no gosh. one else dancing? I did not think this was going to be I like, love it. I like this. That's mine. I'm taking this now. I'm taking this. I'm taking credit. Yeah. I'm taking this. Man, yeah, just took me. credit. Have I yet told you about my nephew? Oh. Oh. He is a prince. A prince? Oh. Yes, a she deserves all the happiness. Cowpers, yes. Take this, <laughs> Cowpers. Take that necklace. Take it back. <laughs> Mm. 
That's when you change your face. To a Don't smile. block the nose. Let the nose in. What? They're always not to touch your noses. Yes. Fuck Don't worry about it. anyone else. Don't worry about anyone else. Fuck right. it. That's Queen. what you told her to do. Queen already took care of it all. Yeah. Everyone outside. Oh, no. I have a surprise for you all. Just the house is on fire. <laughs> 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 that would be, a, that'd be an awesome surprise. I don't know. Depending on your nose, I have a lot of shit happening. Yeah. <clears throat> surprise that she's on a boat waving. Oh no! She's on a high, and Eloise is going to be waiting. <gasps> Not in her bedroom. We're going to her bedroom. Oh, oh she's no. found the floorboards, hasn't oh, she? No. She turned it upside down. <sighs> she did! <sighs> Where did you get all this? What are you doing going through my oh, things, sir? Please. Bet, bet on the horse races. It's not my business. I see. <coughs> and what exactly is your business, Pen? <sighs> Hearing you repeat all that gossip tonight struck me. Because I've never heard you like that. You might have said those kinds of things before, but... Tonight was the first time I, in fact, heard you say them. It sounded so familiar. The words, not just the content or subject, the pattern. It sounded written, almost. It's kind of a shitty thing to say. Like, I actually Why listened to what you were saying. Please, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you were right about all of it. I was trying to protect Is you. Is that what you were doing? By writing about me in your latest sheet? By telling the entire world about things I trusted you It in. was the only way I could convince the Queen it wasn't you. It was the only way I could save you. The only person you were interested in saving was yourself. Also, you could keep making money at a cost to everyone else. At a cost to Miss Thompson. To my brother. To my entire family. To your entire family. I ended my friendship with Theo because of you. One of the only good things in my life was because of your self-serving manipulation. You have no idea how horrible it's felt to keep this from you. From everyone. For so long. Whistledown has been all I have had and I have given it up. I am done with it. I wrote what I wrote and I gave it up for you. I do not even know you. I look at you now and all I feel is so I stood here, in this very room, writing your secret little scandal sheet, tarnishing everyone eternal because you are too scared to stand up for yourself in reality. You are something, really. An insipid wallflower indeed. At least I did something. Yeah, right, damn. <clears throat> Self-righteous fuck. All you ever do is talk about doing something. You have all these great ambitions, these great plans, but I am the one who actually did something great, and you cannot stand it, can you? Damn. What do you think that makes you? I wish never to see or speak to you again. I was waiting for this to happen. I don't know how we'd not have it happen. Yeah. Hurry and fix your room. <clears throat> Just got a pack to go to the Americas. I don't think... I don't think you might... Know yeah, you're right. <sighs> Parents are gone. I think she has enough money. She can do okay. What's this outside surprise? I think they're trying to get everybody outside I so they can sneak leaving. out the back. They need a murder bar. You have to be. No one will know they're plotting. That'll be a scandal. Gold fireworks? Hi, dear. You're leaving alone. Touch Never me. touch me again. She so fucked him over first. Team. Yeah. And I figured it would go this way. Oh, I already have a team. Makes sense. Yeah. They are three young ladies. Often let alone and contrary. But they are mine. And it is clear to me that you do not care about them at all, so I'm sending you away with your favorite person. Yourself. This hmm. entire scheme was as much your idea as mine. If not more. Do you honestly expect anyone to believe that such a confident, well-spoken man needed a woman to help him form his plan? A woman who was a victim herself, having invested the last dregs of her money into this very scheme. There is a record of it, my lord. I will keep a large 
share of the money to support myself and my young ladies. And I had Mrs. Varley forge a signature on a document stating that as soon as one of my girls has a son, the estate shall pass to them. But he has mm. an excellent penmanship, you see. The child, of course, will be infuriated to discover that you've run away with all the money that you tricked out of their trust in All hands. the money oh, that she gets to keep it. To explain it to them now that they're all gathered here. You are cruel. I am a mother. Man. So you're prioritizing Think the girls? I not any worse off than when you arrived. I feel like she only prioritizes them when it benefits her. I get what you mean, but Like, she, she could... wanted her daughter to marry him so that she could have well, his money. Yeah, she, didn't fall, sure. she didn't fall on no sore. But no. she could have left and went and they could have schemed and made more money. She but she's America? not. Okay. Just to be with the girls, right? I think she's just enjoying the the reputation here now. She doesn't want to leave while she's on top. You're courting the girl, Bridget. Ah, are you mad? I would never dream of courting Penang and Featherington. Not in your wildest <laughs> fantasies, by. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Damn. Yep. It's terrible for Penn. Didn't feel any heat? There was none. I've decided to leave the academy. What? Oh, I just had a bad I know about your donation, brother. You were trying to help in your own misguided way. Perhaps because you sense the truth, which is that I'm simply not good enough. Oh, Benedict, stop. You're beginning to sound like me. If you want to paint, paint. You're beginning to sound like me. <laughs> it's one of your many talents. Chief among them, your natural gift for seeing what others need, even when they cannot see it themselves. It is a gift it has taken me far too long to recognize, but I would not have done if it were not for you. Enjoy the rest of your evening, brother. What is this outside surprise? Or is this, are we already in the surprise? <gasps> Trampoline. Secret garden. There was a rotating stage, and a trampoline is the big surprise. In the garden, yeah. yeah everybody does it. <laughs> How many trampolines you got back in this day? You're still planning to leave for India. I have my sister's blessing, as well as my mother's. And the queen herself has apparently saved our families from utter ruin. You love your family, <clears throat> really. As much as you love your boss. I was fearful of losing you. It is why I could not visit you after your accident. There you go. I could not bring myself to the guilt. I love you. I have loved you from the moment we raised each other in that park. I have loved you at every dance, on every walk, every time we've been together, and every time we've been apart. You do not have to accept it. You do not have to embrace it, or even allow it, knowing you probably will not. But you must know it. Be in your heart. You must feel. <laughs> Come on! I do not know what to say. Yes! I do not think there is anything else to say. Other than I love you too. Go back to the gazebo. Is that around here? No. Damn. No. This is the Featherington's. Bring the horse! <clears throat> well, no. There are no horse, never mind. And I will humble myself before you. Because I cannot imagine my life without you, and that is why I wish to marry you. You do know that I'll never be a day where you do not vex me. <laughs> yeah, you can be a Viscountess. I promise, Kathane Jean. There they are! Yay! Perfect. Get on one knee! The king's so excited somewhere. Uh, yes. Did you see the fireworks? It seems the two of us are finally seeing eye to eye on something. It's supposed to be It has been said that silence can wield more power than words. 
No one knows that better than me. It's her own voice. Mm -hmm. You were right about the new Lord Featherington. I must apologize for how I acted the other day. It was what I needed to do in order to gain. Oh, he's going to invest that money here. Maybe. No. Well, perhaps you should pour yourself something as well. <laughs> he's bringing people. Yep. I told them this place was run by an honorable man who serves a good drink. They demanded to come. <laughs> I'm in your debt now, Mr. Mondridge. Yes. Thank you. I wish Will to have much money. Oh, your slaves up, Will. We have customers. <laughs> it is in silence where one may find truth. All one has to do, I suppose, is listen for it. Are you even? Got a four See, was, path. He said, <clears throat> Stop taking so many drugs. I know. There will always be times when silence is necessary. And of course, times when it is not. Not necessary to be silent. What you doing? She gonna write. Voice gonna voice gonna fade into the other voice. Gentle Maria, yeah. you thought I was silenced, but you thought wrong. And if there is one thing you should know by now, it is that this author cannot keep quiet for long. Yours truly. Lady Whistledown. Hmm. She's not gonna stop. She's gonna go harder. This is the Sex Everywhere episode! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to show that nudity. Yeah. <laughs> like, Holy shit, what have we done? <laughs> shit, fucking bees! Yep. Okay, I saw it. Ah, oh, little dookie. Little dookie. Six months, and now takes six hours. Six is nothing when you're a newlywed. Here they are. Yeah. What y'all been doing? Screwing. Perhaps you have been playing. I think get you inevitable defeat over with another. Right, we've all picked, but left the mallet of death. She gonna take the mallet? Yep. Mine's probably keep to pink, Anthony. I rather think that it will match the shade of your embarrassment when you use it. Now who's to begin? <laughs> no! Yes. No chance! There will be no game! Oh, I presume no. that means the game has finally started then. Do you know that was your turn, Tim? It absolutely was not. It was your dog? Oh, and yours through marriage. I do not recall ever making such an agreement. Ah, well, that is between you and him. He does not listen to me. I believe I do. <laughs> Oh, they're so happy. Mm -hmm. I suppose that means they're coming out. No, 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 we're not, not coming out. No, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's opportunity to return our stamps. And admit defeat. <laughs> Camera guy, you got it. Yeah. Oh, the sun's just right. There you go. All right, Pete. All right, that's it. The season, and it ends in marriage. We're okay. I feel like last season, the relationship was like decided much earlier, yeah. and then there was more yes. of like, there was like, what's this drama afterwards? Yeah, this sure. time was more of like building up to, to it. them yeah. actually being married, and these them finally getting together. Just stop worrying about everyone else and worry about themselves a little. 
Sure. Sure. Yeah, they both had that in common, right? Mm-hmm. Where like both of them were like, I have responsibility Huge to do responsibility, yeah. after having a, a family member but other lost, figure right? yeah, disappear, a parent or whatever that was that, that passed away, and mm-hmm. they both had like responsibilities thrust upon him. I yeah. like that both of the mother figures, you know, like apologized, kind of talked about that. Yeah, it's like I wish, I wish I could have had better for you. You know, I regret that. Mm-hmm. Sure. So I like laying the burden too. on their shoulders. Yeah. Sure. But then you get that with, like, damn, what was the little kid's name? Gregory? Gregory. Yeah. Is it Gregory? Yeah. He sucks at Latin. Sucks at Latin. Mm-hmm. Yep. His Latin teacher hates That's him. That's all we know about that character. That's all we know about Gregory. Literally. Gregory spoke, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's the other sister, too, that I don't really know very well. Equals the keys. Hyacinth. Hyacinth is the sister, yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Who am I missing? What letter? Is there one more kid? Ah. Is there an F kid? Who's the F kid? No, there's no f- other fucking kid. Because I have Anthony, Benedict, uh, Colin, Daphne, Eloise, then I don't have an F, right? E, F, then Gregory, then Hyacinth. Which would make sense. Hyacinth was the last one, and that was the flower that was there whenever he, the bee stung him and stuff, too. So, like, I must be missing a In kid. In this time period, it's not likely all the children survived. It's true. Jesus, Rick. I'm just I got a saying. Frederick written down. <laughs> Season one, episode three. <laughs> I got Featherington. Wasn't Frederick the uh, the foreign prince or whatever? Uh, yeah, I think so. I got fucking bitch forged a letter. Lady <laughs> <laughs> Featherington is a villain. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she is. I mean, no, no one's all good and all bad, but... I think she's... She made it out of it. She she screwed that guy over. I think. And everyone else on the ton. Like she. Oh yeah, they're keeping that money. Yeah, they're not getting that money back. They told everybody that he took it and squandered it, yes. while she gets to keep the vast majority of it. Yeah, and he no took it and ran away. Sure. No one's the wiser. I mean, I still feel like I believe that she could have left and got more money, but she would rather stay with her daughters that she would have been leaving behind. I feel like that was her drawing the line factor. If she could have taken the kids with her, I think she would have left. Sure. sure. Like, I'm not accusing her of not loving her kids. Calvin is. I heard him say it. Say that bitch hates her kids. I think she would rather <laughs> would say be, that? <laughs> rather have money uh-huh. and no kids than be poor and have her kids. I do think she I, might choose money and esteem over her kids if it came to that. But she didn't. Like, right? I've never no, felt like, her wouldn't she give have, affection to them. Wasn't the goal, if they would have left, was to go and get more money and become esteemed in a new area rather than the place she's currently in? I mean, I they would I go... I think the, the ball changed that in her mind. It's like, wow, everybody is, like, looking up to me now. I like this feeling. I want to keep it. Or she'd have to start over from scratch in America. I mean, maybe, but, like... Would you rather have respect to people you know or don't know? Lord Featherington showed up, and people had respect for him automatically with, like, mm-hmm. the rumors of where he came from and what he had. You could easily have done the same thing, just going yeah. anywhere else. Oh, hey, I am this, mm-hmm. you know, mine. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever they say. British people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe there's no love for her kids. I don't think it's is. one or the other, but... I definitely, like... She was going to get her daughter married to her cousin, mm-hmm. like, for the sake of the family. But I don't think she took her daughter's happiness into consideration for that decision. I don't know, her daughter seemed, oh, I get to marry Cousin Jack! She seemed pretty happy. Sure. <laughs> like, yeah, but I, I think, think that's also ever... because she's a, a bit... <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> yeah, right. She's not a very deep character. No, yeah. I get you. I understand. Like, we didn't at all even address that daughter being like, hey, you're, by the way, you're, your marriage is broken. You like, never even went back to it, you know? I'm sure, sure. didn't phase her. Just, didn't, she's like, oh, fuck. Probably next season they deal with that. Yeah. Maybe, right? yeah. The fallout of Jack gone. I'm going to say, this would be the second time that those those women are in that house mm-hmm. with with no man again, right? Because yep. yeah. last time, got mine now. last time the husband was killed because yeah. of his shenanigans. This time they kicked him out. Well, I assume the next one will be one of their like husbands. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'll be the next. Well, man. the one's already married, right? Not Prudence, not Penelope. Uh, Philippa was the one that was engaged Philippa. to uh, Lord Featherington. Uh, Prudence is the eldest. 
And Prudence is married. Is think. Prudence the one that's married then? I thought Prudence was the one that was going to be sure. with Jack. Yeah. Um, Philippa then is the one who is already. T- she she I found someone so. last season, right? Man, I don't remember. It's the one that I always thought looked like someone, and I couldn't place her. Man, Man that is so many characters. Yeah, I remember with them last season it was all about Lady. Because um, Prudence was the one that was with Jack. Wait, and Jack. Philippa is the one that Colin. No, that was gonna. Penelope. No, it's definitely not Penelope. Colin was Lady Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we talked to her already before, but no, like uh, Philippa was the one. Either she's married or she's engaged. I think she's married because she was from last season. And then Prudence. Yeah, they were talking about the dowry this season. And then Prudence was with uh, cousin Jack cousin in, this, in this season. So, she's already married. Then maybe if she has a son soon, then he inher- inherits the estate. I was really surprised the way the queen twisted everything. I was not expecting that. The queen just looking around like, everybody likes this. I did this. Yeah. Well, honestly, <laughs> this is mine now. Honestly, what I think happened is like, <laughs> there might be a mixture of that, yeah. but I think she realized what the reasoning was for the sister yeah. as well, yeah. right? And then, like, we had that kind of true love kind of feeling with her and the king and the fireworks and all that kind of thing, yeah. right? So maybe her coming to the realization of what actually was the yeah. reason... And then she just kind of covered it up, and then offered her nephew the prince. <laughs> yeah, she definitely. To like, she definitely pulled an emperor's new clothes of like what I say is reality. Yeah. And then she's like, "Yeah, I have a, a nephew." Sure. Yeah. Like I called off the wedding. It's like, oh. <laughs> I hope that prince is a good-looking kid that likes her. I love. Isn't this great? Isn't it great? <laughs> I was like, "Yes, it's great." Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Why that. is no one dancing? <laughs> So I, I really love that big crown energy. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed I enjoyed her a lot. I think I enjoyed her more this season than I did last season for the queen. Yeah, especially her moment with the king. Mm-hmm. That yeah, was very sweet. Yeah, and then it was uh, it was Edwina right who talked. Was Edwina right that talked to the yeah, king? Talked to talked the him king. down talked a little bit, down. calmed yeah. him down. So talked about how it was his wedding I, day. I think her kind of seeing that, maybe that stuff in her mind. Also mm-hmm. talking with Lady Danbury about like, do you ever figure out the reason? <laughs> you know, it's like well and. and also, We've been busy, so she should die. You like, know? Whistle, whistle down also, also isn't pissing her off every day. It's been sure. how long? So she can think a little straight now. Yeah. Sure. And not just have red in her eyes. Yeah, and not just make everything about a scandal and yeah. gossip. And also, and she's like, bored as hell. <laughs> she doesn't have a scandal in yeah. front of her all the time. But like, if you can look at that and be like, oh, look, the sisters are dancing. The sister sees she went over there. They're dancing. They were in love. Like, if she comes to all that realization, it's like, well, she's okay with it. And, mm-hmm. and they seem okay. Why should anyone else be upset? The more this happens, like, the more I wonder what the show is in the future. Because it's all about, like, well, you can't do this because it's not the right thing. Or You're talking about, like, the, uh, the male-female, like, what your role yeah. in society is? Yeah, like, the more these seasons have these miraculous gettings togethers. Like sure, it makes the other ones much less effective. When you make effective. The, the scandals of the ton be just like well that's not such a big deal anymore yeah then, make it so commonplace yeah yeah. like the next season is maybe not about the idea of I don't know roles of like you know Anthony and all that kind of stuff but maybe it deals with like class like Eloise and Theo yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Class, that's gonna be regardless things, of what's know? been done so far that one's gonna be tough yeah cause that one's not about necessarily like the, the girl the guy or you know any yeah. kind of like but scandal. we did have that with Kate's mom mhm here. Sure. And it was a, you know, scandal and an issue, but Kate, like, no one, I guess her parents, not her parents. Were it her parents? Her grandparents? Uh, her, the love's parents. Yeah. That, that yeah. guy's parents didn't like it or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Because right. Kate is kind of the offspring of that idea. Yeah. So that's already been resolved here. And honestly, I thought they were going to deal with that too with, um, Lady... Uh, shoot, what would you say her name was? The one that was pregnant? Crane. Is that, was that her name? Crane? Well, T- Thompson, Thompson, but Crane now. Thompson, yeah. I thought that was kind of what they were dealing with there, but then he ended up not being like... I thought he was kind of like a, a low guy on the, the bar, you know, but he seems to just be a lord somewhere yeah. else. You know? His name is Philip. Philip Crane. Yeah. That's right. So, like, I don't know. They would deal with that. More. More front and center. I mean, the you know... Around. They still at least had, like, wardship or being sponsored by Lady Danbury, so it's, I don't think that uh, Theo has something Theo like that. is going to have anything like that. But, I mean, it could be a way where we can 
you know, Eloise originally really liked Lady Whistledown because she was kind of tearing down a, a few of these uh, self-made walls, right? And then she turned on that, but I think that maybe that can be the direction you go with Whistledown and Eloise and Theo in, in the future. I think the thing with that, but being like, especially hey, with Penn and Eloise, dumb. is like what they, what she writes. Yeah. Like she came back here and she's writing again, mm-hmm. but depending on what she writes may change Eloise's mind a little bit. Sure. Right? Like, she's just throwing out scandals and just a scandal, scandal pamphlet. Mm-hmm. But if it's pushing more, I don't know, political thought. Progressive. Progressive agendas. Like, like yeah. what her and Theo were looking at or whatever, right? In those mm-hmm. one, the one meeting she went to and stuck off to. Like, maybe stuff like that you can push from whistle down. Maybe not. Maybe not solely. Maybe you hide it within the scandal talk a little bit. Sure. But you still need people to read it. Yeah. Right? So it's the idea of, like, get the scandals that they want to read and then pepper in some of the other stuff to get mm-hmm. more progressiveness in there, you know? Yeah. So. No, it's interesting because the way this show is situated, like, there's not really, like, a... There's no, like, race stuff involved in anything. It's more just, like, female male roles. Yeah. But then there's still, like, this classist thing. Yeah. Sure. It is a classist thing and there's a straight thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's just yeah. of all the things that divides people, race is not one of them in this yeah. world. Which is just refreshing to see a diverse class. Yeah. I don't have to think like, about No it. one cares about Mondrich having this bar. It's just no. like, here's an honorable man, let's go there. Yeah. His problem was like, no one's coming here because there's already other gentlemen clubs that people yeah. are going to. I need to get people here. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't because it was like, oh, you're black. <laughs> you yeah, know, like, like, that wasn't an issue. And I, I kind of like that that's... Just a thing that we just kind of like, like Lord Feathering, just have people be roles. Like Lord Feathering can going back to the American South. Like, what is the American South in this world? Sure, I right? get what you mean. Sure. Yeah. In this alternate reality, is that a problem or not? Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, the South, the Southern states that he was talking What's about. The, right? uh, what the year we're in? Yeah, what year are we in? We've seen uh, it's so after Napoleon's times. fall, so eighteen. Eighteen thirteen was season one. Eighteen thirteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this would be the following season. So. No, uh, Daphne has a few kids at this point, doesn't she? I think that's her first. Is it just the first? I think she, she has the one. one. Yeah. Uh, is it 1816? When was when Civil War? 1853. 1850s? So okay. Yeah. So, like, it just, just slavery is a thing over in the States then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's probably a st- thing all over the place it's right now. It's been a thing for a long time, in fact. But it's probably not necessarily race-related. I don't know if it is or not over there. That would be interesting. Like what if you like went over there? Roman slaves. And yeah. Stuff. Like what if they what if they did go over the states mm-hmm. and there is slavery as a thing, but sure. it, it isn't race related at all. It's just like, yeah. I mean, it's more classist or something mm-hmm. like that. Like these are just poor people that are slaves, kind of thing. I don't know. It'd be really weird. It, it would, would be weird. really weird. Yeah. But it might be a, also like a interesting setting to have a season into. Maybe. Like I, I wonder if this is weird to people of color who are British, like watching this show. Mm-hmm. Like, just not having any acknowledgement or differentiation yeah. or anything in this time period? Because the American one would be weird. Yeah. But also, you know, it's it's also a matter of escapism. Maybe it's just fun to imagine, you know, you and people like you in those settings. Sure. You know? Well, pe- people, you, people like you, people not like you. Yeah. Just well, everybody. Yeah. No one yeah. don't cares, you know? Yeah, sure. Doesn't I, even... Whenever they bring up, like, oh, I'm going back to in- India, I'm always saying, oh, yeah, they're Indian. <laughs> you know, I'm not thinking about it. Sure, I think I'm yeah. just enjoying the, enjoying the show and the different situations they put them in. And I'm not, I always enjoy the younger kids just because they get to have a little bit more levity. But one day, their season's going to be up. They got These actors sure. are going to have to carry. Sure. <laughs> they're going to have to age. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, How do you the... feel the couple carried compared to last season? Oh, um, well, I mean, there's the unspoken thing about how the Duke is just mesmerizing to all of us. Uh, but I will say, I had a lot of fun with this one. Yeah. I did enjoy the whole, like, these two are not living for themselves. They're living for their families, and they're not even giving them their chance, despite the obvious chemistry, <laughs> you know? Sure. So that was fun to play around with. Maybe, you know, eight episodes of it. I wouldn't say it got to be a little much, but it was like... Okay, I see where we're going here. Like, we had, we had to put her in a coma just to kind of slow things down for this ep- this episode, you know? I felt it like, okay. yeah, it was it was kind of one thing the whole season. Mm-hmm. Whereas last season, there was, like... A bunch of wrinkles. Yeah, they're pretending. Yeah. Now they're really in love, but now yeah. they have this conflict. Mm-hmm. And sure. I did enjoy the kind of, like, love-hate thing in this one, right? Like, they say that the 
the uh, the line between love and hate is very thin, and these two could like I like the the line here. It's like you will always vex me, but that's because they're they're so passionate. Yeah, so that's cool. I like that. I just wonder, are we gonna the Colin and Penelope thing? I just knew it was coming. I don't want to see that girl cry. She had a yeah tough she had day. A tough day, but man, tough some, some of it her own making. But yeah, sure, not yeah. all of it. But also, yeah. like he's got to be aware too. I don't know. I mean, it's the same shit that happened in the beginning of this season I with Kate aware. and Anthony. Really? I think he's oblivious. Being a little bit of a dummy about it. I think so. Didn't Thompson tell him? Yeah. Well, like, she tried. Almost straight out. Boys can be real dumb. I was one of those boys. I've been dummy about things. It's true. I'm dummy about things now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could see the conflict and agree with me. No. <laughs> I want to argue, but I must agree. No, I enjoyed, like, it's the aspect of duty versus the love. Like, that was the things that they were both fighting for. I understand it taking, like, the episodes it did because the first half of the season was him really yeah. going after Edwina and focusing mm-hmm. on the duty that I'm after and what I'm supposed to do and even... Quit laughing at me saying duty. <laughs> it's so funny. But even after, like, like here in this episode, whenever she's injured in a coma and all mm-hmm. that, he falls back into routine of, yeah. I must check the books. Mm-hmm. Where are the servants? Why haven't anyone told me about this? Yeah. And he falls into the duty of what he is supposed to be doing as the head of the household. Yeah. So We, we followed him more, but I feel like they both played their parts well. Yeah. Like, especially him. Like, I felt... I understood why he was feeling the way he did and why he was doing the things that he did. And yeah, yeah. And just like, I can see it in his performance. Even Arya, I'm like, no, you idiot, go for the love. But it's like, yeah. I must propose to this girl because I'm already in this deep and here's where things have gone and I know I like that girl, but I'm not going to confront that. And I have all these people, that. you know. Yeah. Like, my, my father's dead. Like, both. I have to be their father and their brother. Yeah. So, like, both of those characters, like, lost a certain element of their life. Yeah. And I think that's what brings them hard together, but... You know, when they have that much responsibility, you can't really be a kid. You know, like, at least his brothers and sisters get to go and beat his point at art school, you know? Fuck the model. Yeah, yeah, right? Although he was fucking a lot of people last season. Yeah, on the down low. (laughs) He's a man, he's allowed. Both Anthony and the Duke had issues finding a life partner because of their father. Because of their father. Sure. Yeah. And I did like seeing more of the father information, too, for the Bridgertons that we didn't have before. Yeah. Just that whole process and everything. Gregory being able to learn a little bit more about his dad and how he's a prankster, and they both kind of have that. Yeah. I like how they were like, you know, we don't talk about him enough. We should talk about him more. Yeah. Just. Well, I mean, that's the whole point, right? Like, the the mother, she, she like, shut off and she buried it. Stopped doing everything, and he kept thinking, like, love must be terrible to do that to you and your children, so I'm never going to do it. And And thus, he he learned from that pattern that. Yeah. When you have feelings that you don't want to feel, you shut off, and that's how you deal with them. And he needed to hear that line about, like, hey, it sucked, but I would do it again. It was worth it. Yeah. I don't think he ever really that sunk in for him. I think my favorite character this season was Lady Danbury. Man, I love her every season. Wasn't She's she great. your favorite last season, too? <laughs> well, the Duke was right there. <laughs> but no, I love Lady Danbury. She I mean, had some really good moments with um, Lady Bridgerton. And name a person. It's a good moment with her. That's, that's true. The Queen, with <laughs> Kate, with uh, Lady Mary, I think was her name. <laughs> like, every time she talks to anybody, I'm just like, yes. I'm going to give it up to Anthony and his actor, because I think that what he was asked to do that this season, it's really hard to do that and remain likable, have people root for you. Sure. I think he did a good job. To be like... you like, you fucking idiot! Adorable, be, be like... <laughs> you know? Well, and to be prickly because he's so defensive. Yeah. Yeah, but also... Be like, like I got the word that I was gonna say. Soft and supple, I mean, relatable, the, relatable. Yeah, yeah. Like on the, I feel like on the paper, on the script, he can come across as just mean, but yeah. he always plays it not mean. It's just like when it's mean, it's because I have to do it. Whenever I'm joking around, it's because I, I need a moment to like have some levity. Sure, I thought he did a really good job this season. <clears throat> the one thing that I think works too for the way he kind of performs that like he was like it took eight eight episodes to get to this of them finally doing this but sure. it seemed like also the near death experiences and stuff mm-hmm. are the things that are triggering him further yeah. to like pass duty and think about the love side of things right 
Yeah. So, like, her falling off this horse, like, he didn't want to come back because it, it was painful if she died yeah. and stuff. And then he was willing to, like, say, I, I want to marry you and I love you and that kind of stuff yeah. because of that. But I then think- also the first time he really triggered wanting to talk about any of that or really feeling like he had love for her was that B incident, I think. Yeah, well, he did that before before she ran off. That's why she ran off. Right? With what? Well, they had sex. Yeah. And then she ran away. Yeah. Yeah. So like, But I that was going to be their last thing. They were going to split parts and not go back together. Yeah, that was a goodbye sex. Now they and were then he joining did, parts. He did grab a, a ring and stuff, too. But, mm-hmm. like, him seeing her dying and that kind of stuff, I think it just, it yeah, just he keeps, keeps pushing it more. He's already gone... He, He's gone past points of no return. Once you hit this point, you're never going to be able to hang out with your dad again. Once your mom gets to this point, she's never going to be with your dad again. So he saying, like, well, that stuff's not worth it. I've seen what happens. Yeah. Then he hits the point of no return. Oh, she's going to die. He's like, oh, my God, I wanted that. I don't want to be without it. Yeah. 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 It's like, yes, maybe it's the right decision to have never sure. dealt with it. But once it was denied him, he was like, that's exactly what I want. What the fuck am I doing? It might hurt a lot later. Yeah. But... I don't want to not have it at all. Mm-hmm. <sighs> now he has a dog. He didn't have it in the contract. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have five cats in my contract either. Yeah. I fucked over that too. <sighs> all right. Well, fun season. I, I do look forward to uh, it happen. You know, this season three coming back. And like Rick said, like, what can you do to make it a little different? That it's not going to be just the, you know, all right, next kid, and the next kid, next kid. I was just glad to have more of the queen, I feel like, this time. Me, me or, sure. or maybe I just well, enjoyed what she did more. And, like, you know, the framework is cliched on purpose. Like, yeah. it's supposed to be comfortable. It's mm-hmm. supposed to be predictable, mm-hmm. I think. So, yeah. like, just being able to focus on different characters isn't the worst either. No, it's not. It's not like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. We're like, what the hell's the twist? Where's it coming? What's yeah. it going to be? Just as long as... The dog! They don't have to do any recast. I don't want these younger kids to grow up and now they're new ca- new actors. Sure. Might happen. So what if they just recast the Duke as every male lead? How do you do that? No. He's right. No. They should do that. Make sure you guys subscribe as we cover tons of shows every day here. Different Movies, podcasts. We also do gaming. All kinds of things. Um, and let us know down in the comments below if there's some show that we haven't covered that you would like to see us cover. And uh, maybe at some point we'll get to that. We also have polls. You can help us vote. Over at patreon.com slash blindwave. What to react to next time.